Hi everyone, my name is uh, Kenny Ji and I am a professor at Korea Maritime and Ocean University. It's my great honor to meet you all virtually to talk about Korea Maritime Law System. In this session, is, uh, I will first provide an overview of maritime transportation in the maritime law and uh, the definition of shipping country. Then I am going to talk about the responsibilities of a carrier under the maritime law, especially by uh, comparing the Hague with Peru and Korea maritime law and including uh, other international conventions. In addition, I am going to discuss this Korea maritime law system focusing on the duty of care for uh, seaworthiness, duty to ensure a uh, direct buoyancy limit on liability of the carrier and uh, exclusion of liability of the carrier.
is uh, first is the uh, what is this maritime transportation. Uh, maritime transport is a commercial activity of transporting people and goods using ships and charging rates. In other words, is uh, for an activity to constitute maritime transport is first is should be conducted using a ship and the second it should be intended to earn an economic property by transporting cargo or passengers via seaways. Let's look at the uh, characteristic of maritime transportation. It involves its ships. In addition, also surplus bulk uh, transport and uh, uh, long distance transportation. It is, is uh, also cost effective and uh, given a wide variety of sea route is, uh, options. Now it's a uh, rest uh, look at the advantages and disadvantages of maritime transportation. It's first is uh, one uh, one hand is a uh, cargo ship have huge is uh, cargo capacity and uh, this makes this uh, maritime shipping uh, a proper rubber. Uh, also is a uh, they can transport is uh, heavy goods. The second is a uh, one on the other hand is, uh, however, is a uh, maritime shipping is uh, slower, uh, less uh, frequent, and is more easy, effective by weather conditions like a uh, storm compared to other uh, modes of, of transport. It also is, uh, requires is uh, port facilities where a ship can come in and be burst of uh, which are uh, costly to build and the cargo is uh, exposed to risks from loss or damages when it is uh, transported by ship. Uh, you can opt the uh, basis of times. So, a uh, cargo ship is, uh, can be uh, categorized as uh, rasily into container ship and uh, bulk uh, carriers. Uh, it is, is a bulk ship. This uh, container ship is a uh, uh, carrier all of the, their load in containers, while bulk, bulk ship is uh, transported as bulk cargoes, which as is a uh, uh, load of materials is uh, unpacked. Uh, this part is, is about this uh, maritime cargo uh, flows. Uh, you can see the, uh, this uh, uh, pictures and uh, uh, follows. Is, uh, there are two main sea cargo flows, export and import. Is. The flow of export begins is when the shippers con consigns a carrier is for transporting cargo. Then the carrier is uh, transported the cargo is, uh, uh, from a shipper's factory is to the terminal and uh, load it on a ship. When arriving uh, at the uh, port of the discharge, the carrier is uh, unloading is the cargo is from the ship and transport it by land is, uh, to the uh, consignees uh, or the uh, using is the uh, truck, rail, uh, feeder barges. Actually, is a uh, uh, finish is uh, this maritime cargo flow at the congenies uh, uh, factories. Okay, so uh, now is uh, where is a uh, check the uh, container terminals system and the stra uh, strategics. Uh, structure. So uh, this this uh, picture is the uh, container terminal. Is a uh, a container terminal is uh, consists of gate, yard, and berths. Uh, three main parts. The gate is the uh, channel for containers, and the uh, second is the 
the other side is uh, where containers are stored and custodies. Uh, the last is the birth side is where ship is coming and the departure side and uh, this part is the operate is the uh, cargo is uh, loading and discharging. This picture is uh, about the uh, gate side. Is, uh, at the gate of the, the container terminal, the information of incoming and uh, outgoing containers is verified is, uh, by the carrier. When an outside the trailer is a uh, driver is, uh, goes uh, through this uh, uh, gate where the containers are, uh, yeah, the location is uh, information generated is based on the, the data and third in advance is, uh, is uh, provided to the driver and uh, the main information is uh, informed is uh, by the carrier uh, to the container terminal operator. Then the driver is, uh, carries containers to the assigned location and this assigned location is made is by the terminal operator. This side is the uh, uh, yard, yard, yard tractor and the, this picture, uh, the facility is a we are called is the transportation container. After it's uh, arriving at the, the assigned yard location, the container is uh, staked by uh, uh, these facilities. As uh, you can see uh, in this picture, last is the first side is the apron side. Uh, you can see uh, this picture is uh, this bird is uh, where a ship is uh, burst for loading and discharging. The Hague Bispiru state is the carrier's responsibility begins when the cargo is loaded and that the responsibility uh, cases is when the cargo is the discharged. 